I'm an Interscope recording artist. I am not only an, a singer, but I'm also a musician. I've been able to record myself doing quite a bit of stuff. Having the video camera and um, carrying it around and making a documentary for myself, but I also want to be able to share it with other people and having it there with me and actually getting it on tape, I'm able to. I didn't get into music, music got into me. As soon as I was born, my mom says I was humming, and then before I could even speak, I was singing. She said I, I sang a lot better than I spoke. <laughs> but I used to run around the house with a wooden spoon and in my diaper singing I've Got Friends in Low Places by Garth Brooks. I knew that I wanted to be an artist long term when my grandmother took me to Fanfare. It's an entire week in Nashville, Tennessee of all the country artists. I loved the first two nights of the concerts, but like the third night I got really bored. I was ready to be up on that stage. I was like, okay, I can do this. I do this all the time. Why can't I be up there? On my way back, it was a 10 hour drive from Tennessee to Texas. I started writing my first song and I told my mom, I said, I have to do this. So she, she booked me some studio time and we started making several trips back and forth to Nashville and then we moved. And two years after we moved, I started working on this record, Instigator, and then we moved to California just a couple of months ago. My parents divorced when I was two, so we were constantly moving. I've probably lived in maybe 12, 13 different houses. Make you think I'm into you. You me, Music was definitely therapeutic for me. Not only playing it, but writing it. And then being able to play what I wrote and perform it. It's such an experience, I can't even explain, you know, what it does for you. When it came to, I guess, choosing what I thought my direction was supposed to be, it was very difficult because I grew up singing country music and I also grew up listening to contemporary Christian and I was like pop no way no way there's no way I could ever be like Madonna because she's you know she did things that I would never personally do it was very difficult for me to think you know am I gonna be able to stick to my morals because pop is all about you know image and sex sales and everything and, Am I going to be able to stick to the good girl because I know there's a bad girl in there? And you know, it's just it's about balance. And I was very, I was very scared of it. And I can't sing like Christina, you know. I can't dance like Britney, you know. Where do I fit in? So it was, it was difficult for me because I was slightly intimidated because there's so many beautiful young artists that's trying to make it in the business. I was like, what? How am I different? Where am I going to go? You know, how am I going to get people to like me? And I think once I started making the record and I heard what it sounded like, I was like, all right, I do fit in. I do fit in in a, in a slightly different way. I'm not just like Brittany, and I'm not just like Christina. I'm, I'm Casey Brown, you know?